So I'll show you a quick demo of uh, Stack Overflow data um, and what it can tell us about the graph database community. So we're using uh, Elasticsearch and the Elastic Stack, which includes a new sort of graph plugin, which enables us to look at the data in our documents as if they were a graph representation and summarize a lot of the documents and draw out you know, the interesting connections in the data. So we have about 11 million uh, questions here on Stack Overflow. It's, the, uh, it's basically all of the dump that you can download from the public Stack Overflow website. And what we're choosing to do is to draw out the fields which are uh, users who are asking questions and the people responding and the tags which uh, describe exactly what's being uh, discussed, whether it's PHP or Python and so on. Um, and we can do a free text search to start. So I can search for anything here. And this is sort of Lucene type syntax, so ands and ors and nots and ifs and so on. Um, but we're searching for tag um, graph databases. So we, that's the uh, community that I'm interested in summarizing for you today. And what we can see are all of the various different tags that are connected, starting with graph databases and then working out. And each step of the way, what we're doing is we're drawing connections out to other strongly connected tags or people. So for example, graph databases, if we click on the line here, we can see it's strongly connected for Neo for J because there were just over a thousand graph database related questions and 645 of those were tagged with Neo for J. So that's obviously a strong connection as is Gremlin and so on. Uh, and we have individuals as well. So there's um, people, uh, the founders of uh, things like uh, Tinkerpop and IBM's uh, Blue Mix, um, and if we keep walking out further, we'll find other individuals who are kind of strongly connected to things. So we've got Luca over here who uh, maintains OrientDB. Um, we've got Michael over here uh, who's strongly connected for, with Neo4j. Uh, so Luca, for example, he's, uh, he's posted 298 times on Stack Overflow. 269 of those were on articles referenced are uh, tagged with OrientDB. Um, so it's obvious the people who are involved in these different uh, projects are actually quite active on Stack Overflow and responding to questions. So, for example, the guy who maintains uh, the Python to Neo connector, he's here uh, helping support his users. Um, and obviously, the same is true of all these other different uh, projects that are ongoing here. You also get a sense of uh, the sort of split that's going on perhaps uh, in the sort of Tinkerpop uh, community around the, the choice of languages. So over here we've got um, Tinkerpop and the Tinkerpop stack and Gremlin based uh, querying uh, languages uh, used by things like Titan and so on. And over here in the Neo4j camp you've got uh, people opting for sort of uh, Cypher as the uh, as the query language of choice over there. Um, what I want to have a quick deep dive on um, is uh, the last thing that I talked about in this group was um, the idea of magic numbers and relevance ranking and, and using that as a basis of guiding exploration through a graph like this. Um, and I, I posed the question um, whether or not people actually throw away data uh, that's too popular um, because that was my experience of using um, other sort of graph technologies was that I was never very comfortable with the fact that super nodes were always seen as something that just linked up too much stuff together and, and consequently they were just blacklisted. So actually interestingly enough uh, I was talking to Michael uh, Hunger of, um, of Neo4j about this and he was saying yes yeah and that, that's a, a technique that they generally tend to use is this blacklisting approach. So um, we can actually use this, see this as an example so if we drill in on uh, Michael individual, as an individual um, and then let's just have a look at the tags strongly connected to Michael. So this is using the relevance ranking model that um, Elastic has provided um, out of the box. Um, so it only pulls in um, a choice of tags which are sort of strongly connected to Michael here. So that's because we have a relevance ranking model in Elasticsearch. Um, and let's have a look at what happens if we turn that off. So if we turn it off, um, and look at the tags that are strongly connected to Michael, then yes, Neo4j is still there, Cypher is still there, um, and we can see that these blue circles overlap quite strongly with Michael, you know, he's quite heavily connected with these things. Um, but he also has an awful lot of posts which are talking about Java, 248 of them. Um, I don't know if you can see this here, but Michael is this tiny little dot on this sort of death star, which is Java. So Java is 
obviously uh, a super connector, a super node in this data set. So the coping strategy that um, you know Michael was saying that they used and I've seen used um, in many other places and many other different technologies was simply you blacklist something as popular as Java. Um, and hopefully with that out of the way, you can now explore the data and not run into super connectors. Um, but the trouble is that's just a sort of declining scale of things. So Spring, for example, Michael's talked a lot about Spring. So again, it's a slightly smaller blue Death Star over here, but we're still having to play relevance whack-a-mole um, and, and get rid of these sort of super connected things using um, these sort of magic number approaches. So performance, obviously, is something else that Michael cares about, but again, very broad term. So uh, what I think you know, we do um, in, in Elastic that's different is, is the ability to say, well, let's have a look at the connections um, based on their degree of overlap and actually follow just the meaningful connections in the data. Uh, and what we've tended to find is that keeps us on topic. So we're here talking about Titan and Gremlin and Orient DB and all these other things, Spring Neo4j, Spring Data, uh, without really trying to get in, getting sort of sidetracked into things like C++ and performance and Java and everything else that gums everything together. So yeah, interesting uh, data set, um, useful uh, little example of how Elasticsearch is, is looking at this problem slightly differently perhaps. Uh, and uh, yeah, I hope this was of interest.